I found it. This isn't good for Turtle because, you know, he could have multiple ticks on him. We know now for sure that it's tick paralysis. He's been on there long enough that he's injected the poison. Oh, Turtle, I hope you haven't got too many more. On the Gold Coast, pet dog Turtle has been rushed into Alex with a suspected tick bite. There we go. So this little guy's come in today because he's wobbly on his legs, he's been vomiting and he's clearly not well. We're really worried that he's got a tick. Heart rate's about 120. But his breathing efforts, yeah, moderate, yeah. He is 12 years old, he's a pug cross. Owner Carly is desperately worried about her special boy. Turtle started showing signs of look like sore back hips. Um, it progressed in 24 hours to not being able to balance, walk or coordinate himself. We didn't think he was going to pull through. We run our fingers through really feeling every inch of the face. Um, we know that 90% of ticks attach in the front third of the body, so we're going to start around their head. Time is critical. If Turtle's been bitten, the deadly toxin could already be spreading rapidly through his body. I don't know that we're going to find it without clipping his hair off, Jane. Here we go. So we're just putting him under anaesthetic now. There you go. There you go. We can pop a tube down and take control of his airway, which is really important for tick paralysis, so it's actually safer. Turtle is going to need a haircut if Alex has any chance of finding the deadly tick. We'll start around the head because it's one of the most likely places for the tick to be. And we want to try to find this tick as quickly as possible. We know that he hasn't been on tick prevention. And once he gets through this, that, that's going to be a really important part of the conversation is getting him on to a tick prevention product. I found it. Right under his chin. Oh. We found the tick, we've removed it. We know now for sure that it's tick paralysis. Martin's gone to get the tick anti serum and start the infusion. As the little dog fights for life, Alex is afraid there could be more ticks. Yep, we've got another one that's even bigger. I reckon this is the culprit. There he is, right under his chin. Literally only a really short distance from the other one as well. So that's two ticks. This isn't good for Turtle because you know, he could have multiple ticks on him. Oh, I'm just gonna try and get this off. Oh, sorry mate, I'm glad you're asleep. He's been on there long enough that he's injected the poison. Oh, Turtle, I hope you haven't got too many more. We haven't found any more ticks, just the two that we found. Alex has started Turtle on tick anti-serum to help fight the toxin already circulating in his body. So he's made it through the first part, which is getting the treatment on board, but he's not out of the woods. He still needs to fight this, and it's still very much touch and go for Turtle. It's been a tough fight for little tick bite victim Turtle, and has been closely monitored in the ICU as the anti-serum took effect. How's Turtle doing? He's doing so hey, much honey. better today. Hello, you're looking <laughs> great. I got something for you. Hey, okay. you gonna come with me? Good boy. Come on, let's go. I've got something for you. Turtle, I've got something for you. Hey, okay. I don't want you getting any more of those nasty ticks. It's a pretty collar. I'm going to put a Seresto collar on Turtle. It's going to give him four months of protection against ticks. Pop this on you. Hello. Good boy. Okay, make it fit nice and well. Got it. There you go. Come on. Okay, Turtle, we'll get you home. I don't want to see you again soon. No more ticks. I'm Dr. Kate Adams, and welcome to Bondi Pet a new destination for pet health and well-being. Our site is filled with everything to fulfill your pet's needs so that you can make healthy choices for your pets.